Question number seven. You are given a figure. Figure four shows part of the curve with the equation y equals two x square plus five. The point P of two comma thirteen lies on the curve. So part A. Find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at point P. The question has two marks. So in part A, they want you to find the gradient of this function at this particular point. So when they, whenever they ask you to find the gradient of any function, differentiate the function with respect to x. So it will be two times two, four x, and this will become zero. This is called the gradient function. But if you want the gradient value at a particular point, take the x coordinate, substitute here. So your gradient of this function at this point p is 4 times 2 which is 8. That's it. This question has two marks. That's how you find the gradient of any function at any given point. Now part b, the point q with x coordinate 2 plus h also lies on the curve. Find in terms of h the gradient of the line pq. Give your answer in simplest form. The question has three marks. And then part C, explain briefly the relationship between the answer to part A and part B. The question has one more. Now in part B, there is another point Q with the X coordinate 2 plus H. Y coordinate is not given, take it as Y1 or something. We don't know the Y coordinate. They want you to find the gradient of the line joining P and Q. Let's say the point Q is here. Once you join the line, the points, they want you to find the gradient of the line. But if you want to find the gradient, you need the Y coordinate. So take this X coordinate, substitute here. So your Y is 2X square plus 5. That's your Y coordinate. Expand this. 2 into a plus b whole square, a square plus 2ab plus b square plus 5. Now multiply by 2 and simplify, you will have 2h square plus 8h, 8 plus 5 is 13. That's the y coordinate. So the point q is 2 plus h, come on, 2h square plus 8h plus 13. Now we got the x and y coordinate of the point Q also. Now we can find the slope of the line joining Q and P. The slope or the gradient M is y2 minus y1, 2h square plus 8h plus 13 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So your two you take out h and cancel out, you will have 2h plus 8. That's the gradient of the line, that's it. You can't get a particular value because you are given h, you don't have the value of h. So the gradient of the line joining qp, q and p is 2h plus 8. That's the answer for part b. And the gradient of the function at the point p dy upon dx at the point p is 8 which is what we which is the answer we got in part a and in part b the answer is 2h plus 8 and they want you to they want you to explain the relation between the answer in here and the answer in here so when they say relation you can see that if you look at this, both has 8 in it. Here you have 2h. Maybe you can say when your h is 0, both are same. That means when your h is 0, the point q is the same as the point p. Because when you substitute h is equal to 0 here, q is 2. Your h is 0, your x coordinate is 13. q will be 2 comma 13, which is same as p. So part C, you can simply write when h is 0, h tends to 0, point Q and P are same. Or you can say the gradient 
uh, of the line QP is same as the gradient of the function at point P. That's it.